So by round of applause, who here has Facebook? Yeah! Oh. Alright, so man, I, I got you all here. That's good, I don't have to repeat myself. I'm not going to join your mafia, I'm not going to help you farm, and I'm not going to join your vampire clan. Yeah! Okay? Everybody worries about being social, you know, being interactive in the social environment. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you're e-biting people on the neck. You don't have the ability to go out and say hello to an actual human being. Great Just goal. a little note. Just you should, you should write that down. Also, stop sending me fake food. I'm a fat guy. I get it. That's torture. Okay? It's against the Geneva Convention. If Hitler had Facebook, he would have sent fake food to the Jews. Wow. Oh. 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 Yes. So a lot of crap's going on in Haiti. A lot of crap. Thousands and thousands of people are dying. And Pat Robertson, you know, Reverend Pat Robertson, Reverend Pat Robertson of God, the forgiving God, you know, that kind of God, uh, says that the Haitians brought it upon themselves because they made a deal with the devil to get rid of the French. <laughs> okay, first off, Pat, one thing. Um, to get rid of the French, you just have to show a bar of soap. <laughs> you don't have to make a deal with the devil. And uh, secondly, the devil doesn't, you know, he reneges on his deals quite a bit because I made a deal with them and you're still alive. So... Ah... Uh. Ah, uh, nothing. So, uh, when I was 21 years old, I, uh, I lost my virginity at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Yeah! Thank you very much. That's what every boy does when he hits that age, right? He flies out to Nevada. Yeah. What if I had more money? Yeah, well, that's something your parents should have given you when you were growing up. Here's your present. Have some pussy. <laughs> so when you leave a place like that, you think you're never going to be able to find a, a, a piece of ass that good again. And you kind of start walking the earth like the Incredible Hulk, looking for a piece that good. You're like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> and you know, you never find it. You never do. And that actually leads to bad things in relationships later on in life. Because two weeks after I came back, I was drunk off my ass at a party, and the girl I was seeing was sitting on my lap, and I was having conversations with guys about the bunny ranch, and they were like, so what was it like, man? How was this? How was this? Like? And mind you, she's sitting on my lap at the time, and I go out of my way to say it was the best pussy I've ever had in my life. <laughs> she goes running out of the room, crying. And she's outside, and she's sitting on the porch, and she's just weeping. And I kind of make my way out there, and I put my arm around her, and I'm like, what, what's wrong? It's what you said about sex. But we ain't had sex yet, bitch. <laughs> So I don't, I don't mind dating larger women. Okay, I'm not, a, I'm not against it at all. In fact, I think everybody should at one point. Now. But there was one point when I was having a lot of problems dating, so I called the Butterball helpline. That year, not only was my turkey moist and delicious, but so was my girlfriend. 